Hey guys, Dan here from Your Guitar Academy and welcome back to lesson 14 in our 30 day beginner challenge. And we're now gonna continue the song. We've done the verse and we've done the chorus and hopefully you've been having some success when practicing those. Obviously it's still early days, you know, we're gonna be practicing this for some time to come, uh, but hopefully you're just starting to get that together. You understand the concept of the chord chart now a little bit more and I've got that B7 a little bit cleaner. Um, and now what we're gonna do is bring in the riff. So that opening really cool, almost cowboy style riff at the start of this track. We'll be going through that today. So pick up your guitar and let's get started. to this course and you've just come through to this on YouTube, then please remember that you can head on over to the website and you'll find full write-ups for every lesson, all of the tab, all of the chord boxes, the fretboards, everything you need to absolutely smash and master every single lesson. As well as that, please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It massively helps us continue to provide you these free courses and leave us a comment. If you've got questions, we will get back to you. So leave us a comment under the video and we'll speak to you there. Okay then guys, so that riff, just to refresh your memory, sounds like this. One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. So, let's go through this. The, the, the most important thing here is, is recognizing where this riff comes from, okay? So this song is in the key of E minor. Now, that's not gonna mean very much to you at the moment, but something we can draw from that at this point in our guitar career is that, well, if the key is E minor, then my E minor pentatonic that I've learned will work over the top. So if I'm looking for something to create a melody or a lead part or anything like that, that box, that scale shape will work well. Let's keep it at that, simple. At this point, I'm telling you the key is E minor. I'm not expecting you to understand why or how or where. That's something for later on. But we can at least understand that, okay, well, if this is an E minor and I've got an E minor pentatonic, they should work well together, right? The, the clue is in the title, simple as that. So E minor pentatonic. And you've been practicing it, haven't you? <laughs> that bad boy. All the notes, apart from one, which will be very specific to the chord, and we'll get to that when we get to it, are based around that scale. So if you're wondering how I sat there and wrote this um, with the wonderful guys here helping me write that here at Your Guitar Academy, then I just took the E minor pentatonic box and just use notes from that and then tried to put something melodically together. So let's go through it note by note, okay? And remember that you can find the tab for this over at the website. So if you want to just make sure you're doing the notes in the right place and correctly, check out that tab as well, it will really help. But we'll go through it piece by piece. So we start with an open E string, nice and easy, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an open A string, then we're gonna hit the second fret of the A string, and that'll be a down up plectrum stroke, so like that, okay? So we get, okay, I'm using my second finger there, okay? Then I'm gonna do open D string, and then the second fret of the D string. So same thing really, so we get this. Apologies. We don't go there, we come back to that uh, A string second fret. So we get open A, second fret, open D, and then back to that second fret on the A string, sorry. So all together that part is. Okay. And with the right hand, try and just continuously do that down up strumming, okay? So first thing will be a down stroke. Then, because we've got a big break, Okay, we're gonna start with a down stroke on the A, then up, then down, then up. All you 
using the second finger. Okay, so your first part, counted through, is one, two, three, or one and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four. So here it really helps, you know, that whole listening to the song that we did before. You probably got this melody in your head and therefore it's going to be easier to learn this piece of tab, okay? Now next after that, we, we kind of do a similar thing, so we do so same as we did there, so the open A, second fret, open D, but then we do the open A string again, and then we do the third fret of the low E string, and finish on the second fret of the D string. So that's quite a jump, okay? So just really slow, that section is Again. Okay, and just with a little bit more pace and rhythm. Okay, so that's the second section. So if you listen to the first and second section together, it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to loop that with the drums at a nice slow speed first okay so let's do this at uh, 60 let's do 60 bpm try that you can always go slower if you want to um let's just try that two three four here we go one Oops, I'll do that again. Uh, two, three, four, one. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, three, four, one. Let's do that all again. Three, four, one. Ignore that second low E string. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, one, can I myself? Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Okay, let's stop that there for a second. So you can hear how important it is to have the melody in your head. You know, bam, 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 bam. Do, 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 boo, do. You know, I know what I'm trying to aim for, so I don't have to think too much like one and two and in this instance, okay? Although that is something you can do. And we did count it, you know, one and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. But honestly, I wouldn't expect you to be able to sing one and two and whilst picking, okay? There's just too much going on at this stage, okay? I'd expect you to do it while strumming. We have worked through that and that's something we can do. But whilst doing this, no, don't worry about that. That's more just for me guiding you so you can hear it clearly, okay? Now, you do the riff twice round. The first time it sounds like that. The second time it sounds exactly like that, except in the very last bar we do this. Like that. Okay, so all this is, is just, you know, if you think about the last bar, it's got a C major seven on it. So I'm, I'm using a note from that C major seven. So I'm using the C. So this is the third fret on the A string. Then going back into my pentatonic box to use the second fret of the A string. The third fret of the E string, and then nice and slow. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. They can be all downstrokes, okay, because it's nice and steady. And you just add that in at the end of the riff. So I'll do the whole thing. So it's, it's two times round. Three, four, one. Round again. Four, one. Two, three, four, and then we 
go one. Okay, so that's where that little rundown comes in. If you were counting it, it's one and two and three and four. And the really important thing, almost as important as the riff itself, is this fluidity going into the verse. So it goes straight from that riff, that's what opens up the song, and happens straight after the chorus. So they're the two points where that comes in. And then, as you're coming down from that riff, the next thing you need to do is start your verse. So that means going from this G here to the E minor chord is the next thing you play. Okay, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So we're looking to not only learn that riff now, okay, trying to get that together. And remember, use the tab as well if you're unsure of any of the notes. Um, but also we're looking to kind of start to understand the process of naturally blending between parts. So doing a little riff and then naturally going into a chord part and a rhythm part and then back, okay? So in that instance, you go, from that G to the chord part. We'll work on that more in the next lesson. Going from the chorus, you remember you've ended your chorus on your B7, and you go from the chorus into the riff. So it's that join as well. So right now, your practice should be three different parts. We've got the verse, we've got the chorus, and we've got the intro riff. So make sure with your practice time, remember, when we put that practice time together, that bulk of practice in the middle, so you do your guitar gym warm-ups, and now this, those are the three parts I want you to practice independently, and we'll work in the next lesson to put them all together. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. That's it for today. Please do head on over to the next lesson when you're ready, which you can find here, or you can start from the beginning of the playlist right here on YouTube over here. Also, if you want to leave us a comment, we do our best to answer any questions that you might have and pop us a like and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Every little helps. Thank you so much, guys. Speak to you later.